the month is here, guys. It's here now. Mania will be out in about two weeks, and I am hyped, guys. I am really hyped for this. I am ready for this. I have been waiting for so long. We have been waiting for so long. And to celebrate this, I will be posting Sonic Mania videos all month, hopefully. And I'm sorry if my posting is kind of weird because of the way I record videos, the order I record them. Like, there's going to be videos I'm probably going to be posting possibly even next year. If I do post them at all that I recorded before this. So, I'm sorry about that. It, it, it ends up being annoying or something. Or if I end up saying things in those videos without no knowledge of future information coming out that could debunk theories or whatever. But, if I do notice that there's information I could debunk a theory before... If the video comes out, I will try to not upload that video unless it's something I didn't notice in my video, but it's still there, and I just didn't notice it. But, yeah, I record stuff in bulk, so that could just, I, I guess it's not the best way to do things, but, and I know I'm not a very big channel yet, and I kind of talk as if I am. But I know I can't give up, and if I am positive and I sound positive and confident, I know that positivity and pure heartedness is what attracts people. So I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to sound more confident since one of my friends says I don't sound very confident in recording my videos. I'm hoping that's just, you know, because I'm starting out, and the more I do it, the more I will get used to talking and saying things out loud. But... I'm just going to try to be confident and hope that I can push through this algorithm storm and just have some fun with YouTube, even if I don't get very much. For the few people that do watch my videos, I am forever grateful. But either way, we have a story leak. For Sonic Mania, is that's the first thing I will be talking about. And so far, based on what I know, I think it was seen in the Mania manual, but the screenshot I have is from Wikipedia, but it's exactly what the manual said. Somebody posted on Instagram, so I went and I looked it up and I found a Wikipedia article. And so far, I don't think this has been deconfirmed. If it is to be confirmed, I'm sorry, but I'm just doing this to kind of get this out there. So basically, what it says is, is directly after Sonic and Knuckles. And it's basically about Tails finding a mysterious energy reading. So, you get Sonic and Knuckles and they go and go to find an energy. But Eggman is like, no, no, no. So he sends out his hard-boiled heavies after them to get the energy source first. Now, I bet some of you guys are wondering if this debunks or how, how this affects my theory that I made before connecting Sonic Mania and Forces. Now, I still think my theory holds up that Sonic Forces and Mania could be connected and I actually think this strengthens the theory, but there is some some things I do need to edit from my theory because and once I get to talk about it you'll realize why so when it talks about the energy source it doesn't specifically say what the energy source is and I find this pretty interesting because this is a, at least the first classic game we have where the energy source doesn't have a name, it's just called a mysterious energy source. And I probably will be speculating a lot for the next while until the game comes out what the energy source is. Now what I put forth is a couple theories right now. Uh, the first thing I'm thinking is that it could be the Ancient Gears from the Mega Drive comics. It could be anything. <laughs> It could be infinite, or at least have something to do with infinite, and I think that is how 
It actually strengthens my theory that Manian forces are connected. I still believe this. I will at least be thinking this until it is deconfirmed or if it is ever deconfirmed. And I just think it could make some sense if they were to decide to do that. And even if they weren't going to decide to connect Mania and forces like directly, I still think Sonic Mania is canon. But let's talk about some places where this does poke some holes in the theory I already had. See what my speculation was that Mania was a gender was a sequel to Generations. But since it what the Wikipedia article said that it was directly after Sonic and Knuckles. So if it's directly after Sonic and Knuckles, it, they were, we're not going to have Sonic Generations in between. Unless it is a scenario where Sonic and Tails are going precisely back to after Sonic and Knuckles. But I don't think it makes any sense because we didn't see them jump into a time portal after Sonic and Knuckles. So I just think this kind of pokes a hole in my theory. But I still think it's possible that Mania could lead to Generations in some sense because we don't know what the energy source was, and for all we know, it could have been the time meter. So I still think that my theory could make some sense. It just has to be switched around. Some things do need to, they need to be changed. But seriously, guys, just take everything I say with a jar of salt. Because like what me and my mom were talking about today, none of these theories have any true substance is just picking out little objects, little things, little things they said about it, and putting things together, and nothing is actually officially confirmed, but, and, wow, this video is a lot longer than I thought, but, I just have a couple more things to talk about, special stages, they look really nice. I like the way they're done. I think you go through them through the rings. And they remind me a lot of the Sonic 2 special stages. But expanded a little bit. Which was one of my favorite versions of the special stage. Actually my favorite special stage was the ones in Sonic Colors DS. I, I just like them. I like the music they had. I actually like the Sonic Colors special stage music. Better than the special stage music for Mania. Go ahead. Keep me alive. I don't care. And there's also the whole Marble Garden Zone leak that somebody was talking about that they that they saw something hinting towards Marble Garden Zone in one of the manuals, but I don't even think I want to put a picture of that up here because it's pure speculation. I don't care that much for Marble Garden Zone. And I don't really want it in Mania. But I could refer you to the channel so you can go watch the video they have on that. Because, yeah, I don't really care about that. And, of course, there. how could I go without talking about the leaked Sonic Forces release date? Now, keep in mind that I'm recording this still in July. I'm still recording this sometime in July. It's a Thursday right now. I forgot what the exact date is, but based on what I know, this has not been deconfirmed yet, and the leaked re re release date for Forces is November 2nd. And just to get my quick opinion on that, I was actually hoping for Forces to come out a little later so they can spend more time on it, but I still think November 7th is a solid date. <laughs> One week after Mario Odyssey coming out. Oh gosh. So. That's all that. And. Well, there's actually one other thing I want to bring up. It's something that. I am not the first person to think about this. But what if. Mania was not. Pushed forward due to quality issues. What if it was actually pushed forward in case forces need to be pushed forward and they give a better base cushion or whatever? That's what some people have been saying. Some people actually literally believe that's what happened. 
I actually do see the possibility in forces getting delayed because they seem to be putting so much into this game and although it started production earlier than Mania I still believe it's very possible that they could need a little extra time and Sega if if you are for whatever reason wasting your life watching this video I'm, I'm gonna say take as much time as you need if you need to delay it delay it do whatever you need to do quality over quantity quality over getting it out at holiday time like 06 just do whatever you need to do and as long as you eventually get a good product out people are going to be happy with it because when we look back on a game we're not going to so much remember the day it come out I mean, sometimes you might remember they come out to celebrate it, but other than that, we're not going to be thinking so much about what it, when it came out, how much time was, if it took you extra time, we're not going to be, like, making fun of if it took extra time, if the thing is good. In the end, what's going to matter is whether or not what you put out is good and what, if you put out your best effort. And that's all that matters in the end. And I can understand stuff with sales, but I mean, if you got something good, people want to buy it. So, and at least that's the way the world should work. But either way, just take everything I'm saying with a jar of salt. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you really want to. And share the video if you think anything's worth it. And I guess that's all for now. And I'll see ya.